They are doing it because it is very cheap to do it. Uh, we find that almost uh, 50 to 75 percent cost uh, reduction they can carry out if they do, they, they do it uh, through these companies in, in, in developing countries. There are other reasons because India is a very big country. So pharmaceutical companies are able to find uh, enough number of patients for the kind of trial they want to carry out. Unfortunately, in my country, there are laws, but they are not very well implemented. And uh, so the, the, the regulation over the trials, the oversight mechanism, the functioning of the ethics committee and the regulatory body, the Drug Controller General of India, all of them are so lax that that makes, uh, I think, uh, India uh, a big destination for uh, clinical trials. They say that uh, in the next 10 years, one third of all clinical trials in the world will be carried out in India. I think uh, they are very desperate people. They have uh, either terminal diseases or, uh, uh, you know, they, 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 they have no way of uh, getting uh, good care from uh, uh, health services in India. So, these are the people who are most vulnerable of the society who are being used for the trials. I think that bothers me the most. They don't have good scientists, they don't have enough number of, uh, you know, um, inspectors who can go all over country and country is that of a continental size, as you know. And the third is, I think, uh, which is the worst thing in every developing country is the corruption. There's too much of corruption. The ethics committees are coming up, but uh, uh, they have problem of competence, they have problem of uh, independence, they have problem of having uh, good financial support. So, uh, if uh, you decentralize the uh, work of uh, ethics oversight, then uh, one need uh, more vigilance uh, when there are thousands of committees involved. That vigilance is not present at the moment. Lot, isn't it? Because uh, if uh, trials are done uh, in, a, in an unethical manner, in violation of human rights, it would be a, a big guilt on the part of, uh, you know, uh, European people to, to, to make use of uh, such drugs which had violated human rights. So it's very, very important for the Europe and uh, you know, all the developed countries to ensure that uh, uh, during the course of uh, trial there is no human rights violation has taken place. Well, we are fighting for three things. You know, to put it very briefly, first is that uh, the, the clinical trials that are done in the developing countries should be relevant to their needs, that is one. The second is that 